folks, we're just getting packed up here. We're in British Columbia, just uh, north of the, the uh, U.S. border, north of Montana. We're going in after grizzly and black bears. We're gonna pack in probably four or five miles into uh, base camp and hunt from there. So we'll get all loaded up and then we'll be on the road. It begins with a legendary pioneer in wildlife filming. Wilderness, adventure, and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. We've been filming and hunting for over 60 years and three generations. And these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. Well, here we are, folks, on our uh, first day of our hunt. We're in southern British Columbia hunting trophy grizzly bears. What we're doing, the strategy is we're just kind of setting up on each one of these snow slides and watching the snow slides because this time of year these bears congregate into these slides and uh, come down in the alders at the lower ends of the slides and they dig for grubs and ground squirrels and, and whatnot. So we're just kind of riding up, glassing, riding, glassing each one of these slides we go. So hopefully uh, a bear turns up or a few bears in one of these slides eventually. So we're just gonna wait this out till evening and see what comes out. We've got a big bear here. The snow slide, it's about a two or three hour ride from camp. And uh, I was taking one of my patented Eastman naps over here. Woke me up and said, there is a big bear up in that snow slide. And sure enough, I got my scope on it and there's a big old bear. He's kind of working his way down, so we're gonna kind of see what he what he does here, but he's obviously a boar all by himself, big old claws on him. It's one of the prettiest sights I've ever seen in the out of doors right there. Look at that sucker. Jeez. We're gonna wait this bear out. If he comes out, pops out down here in this rock pile, he's gonna be within striking distance. We're gonna cross our fingers, kind of see what happens. Well, it's been almost six hours since we saw that big bear up in the snow up there. And we moved over to this slide thinking he was moving this way and he didn't show, so that's hunting. We're gonna go back to camp and get some grub and some sleep and we'll be back here first thing in the morning. ago we spotted him way up above Timberline there and we've had a couple of days of bad weather. I've been sitting in this slide for a couple of days watching it. Finally this afternoon I saw a bear go across those rocks up there and I looked and it it was a little small to be him but it was a, obviously a sow and then right behind her came that big bear from up there two days ago. He's He's got the sow down in this uh, this avalanche slide here. He's trying to breed her, so about the 29th of May here, so they're right in their rut season, so we're hoping he comes back out right down here in this bottom or I can get a shot. We'll wait him out and see what happens. He's a big bear. Almost had a shot at him, but he went across that rock slide and never stopped. He was too busy chasing her, so. You know, we hunted for that big bear for three or four days in that same spot where we'd seen him three times, and sometimes it's just not in the cards. 
We then moved down to a couple other slides that had some other bears in them and kind of went to plan B and sometimes you just have to do that. He looks like a good bear. He's not the real, real big one, but he looks like a, a real nice mature boar. So we're gonna go up there and, and see what happens, see if we can get within a couple hundred yards of him. Got a couple hours till dark, so we're gonna have to haul tail here. Smokes! What a bear! What a gorgeous, gorgeous mountain grizzly! Woo! Like it was scripted in a movie. He just came walking right down off that knife ridge and into this this uh, rock slide here on that grassy hillside. He offered me about a 180-yard shot. He definitely saved us a little bit of a pack out. He's actually down below us now. We shot him. 80 yards above us, so he rolled, shoot, probably 400 yards, but just a gorgeous bear, and uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. This has been a dream, and this is just gorgeous country, and... Well, folks, here we are in the beautiful Canadian Rockies of British Columbia, and our evening couldn't have ended any better. We got a big old bear here. We made a stock straight up this mountain out of the river bottom there got within 175 yards of him. He was feeding on this hillside and just kind of fed right into our lap within 175 yards. Made a perfect shot on him and he just rolled, tumbled down this rock slide and just a gorgeous grizzly, gorgeous culmination of a great hunt here in British Columbia after mountain grizzlies. Thanks for watching today. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week on Eastman's Hunting TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right here for Eastman exclusive web content.